like that go for the kimber diamond is the most flawless gem in the world its value is beyond any estimation i'm gonna throw out a number 250 bucks sir i really don't think... 275 am i getting warmer cool what what is it hair canine hair but not just any dog this follicle comes from a lithuanian wolfhound one of the rarest breeds on earth and what would one of these dogs want with a diamond why don't we focus on the person who owns the dog ron that's just what the dog burglar wants you to do got it falsetto jones the only breeder of lithuanian wolfhounds in the world he's rich refined and possibly the world's greatest thief falsetto is the number one suspect in a lot of big time robberies but they can never pin anything on him so he's no ordinary cat burglar dog burglar come on kim get your head in the game bad news his estate is crawling with security no weak spots good news tomorrow night falsetto hosts his annual open dog show so all we need to get inside is a show dog yes my gigi has a très sensitive tummy mais non now, you must remember to feed your only two-part champion gourmet wet food, one-part champion gourmet dry food, avec a sprinkle of truffle, yes? Two parts wet, one part dry, sprinkle of truffles. Got it. Two parts wet, one part dry, two parts wet, one part dry, a sprinkle of... <gasps> Ron! No! No, Gigi, back! Relax, KP, there's plenty of mucho cayenne cheese to eat. <clears throat> Ron? What were you thinking? Feeding Bueno Nacho to a champion show dog? Ah, Rufus downs this stuff all the time. He's cool. Newsflash, Ron. Rufus is a rat, not a champion show dog. <laughs> Look, Gigi is in no condition to enter a dog show, and we land in 15. Any ideas? Huh? All right, we're gonna pull this off. You're gonna have to look dog, act dog, and think dog. Got it? Okay, now do as I do. Okay, sit. What breed did you say this was? Um, a Peruvian? Hairless. <laughs> I'm, I'm still not seeing anything here in the official... Maybe you should consult with my friend, Mr. Lincoln. See if he can improve your eyesight a bit if you, you know, catch my drift. Ron, this is a prestigious international competition. And I'm speaking the prestigious international language of cold hard cash. Five dollars is hardly... Uh, yes, here it is. A hairless Peruvian. Very good. Mm -hmm. There he is, Falsetto Jones. Why do you think he's called Falsetto? Welcome humans and canines alike to my annual dog show! Free Kalium accent. Ouch! I need time to infiltrate the main house. Try to keep a low profile. You got it. Low pro. Good dog. I'm liking the stealth suit, Wade. Knew you would, Kim. And the pond is filled with, don't tell me, sharks, crocs... Electric eels, actually. The bad villain puns just write themselves. Shocking, isn't it? And now the toy group is being led onto the floor by their handlers. Ugh. What is that entrance that looks like a bald rodent? I'm told that's a Peruvian hairless. Very rare. It's quite exciting to have one in this year's show. Well, 
Well, let's see how the judges like him. <laughs> you gotta admire that kind of spirit in such a small dog. Of course, there's a time for spirit and a time for laying low. <laughs> Let's see who it will be. Oh, this judge is taking his time. Clearly a tough decision. And it's the Peruvian hairless taking the top group. And in his first show ever, huh? it's quite an upset. And he'll move on to the finals. Who's the dog? <laughs> if I were a flawless diamond, where would I hide? Blueprint show some kind of vault deep under the house. On my way. I... Oh, that's quite an animal you have there, Mr... The name's Van Foker Dumple <laughs> Stein. Dr. Van Foker Dumple <laughs> Stein, actually. Funny, in all my years of hosting this show, I've never seen anything quite like him. Well, as I'm sure you know, the groovy hairless... Groovy and hairless? Yes, he's practically one of a kind. I feel compelled to ask you a question, Dr. Foker Dumple <laughs> Stein. Fire away. Hmm. Can I have an autograph? Hey, sure. Anything for a fan. Not your autograph, his. Mine. <laughs> And Bingo was his name -o. Hello, beautiful. Sorry, KP. You know, the low profile thing didn't exactly work out. He's a naked mole rat. Purchased at the Middleton Smarty Mart by Mr. Ron Stoppable, sidekick the teen hero Kim Possible. I read a check on his autograph. Feed that useless rat to my beloved wolfhounds. I have a special treat planned for you two. I think you'll find this quite shocking. Called that one. Finalists are on the floor, all except for the Peruvian Harris. Way! There he is now. Come on, get it! And it appears we have pandemonium on the floor. Aren't you going to leave now? Leave? What do you mean? Oh, usually the bad guy says his lame pun and then walks out, you know, leaving us to our doom. But then I'd miss the whole thing. Where's the fun in that? I'm not going anywhere. Okay, but I feel I must warn you that you're really breaking a supervillain tradition here. Definitely best in show. 
beats me. Uh, that brings us to item 432 in my Care of Rufus guide. Singing. He sings? No, you sing. Sing what? Rockabye baby. Well, actually, he prefers Rockabye Rufus in your watch. Rockabye Rufus in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Ron, I know I agreed to take care of Rufus while you and the fam tour France, but there is zero chance of me serenading a naked mole rat. But, Kim, lullabies are a cornerstone of naked mole rat care. It's the only thing guaranteed to put Rufus instantly to sleep. Monkey fist! Duck pelican! Jago! All right, we're out of here. Let's move on to item 433, shall we? <laughs> we can cross recovering one ultra secret X14 microchip off our to do list. I'll arrange for you to return it to the Greetenix Corporation first thing tomorrow. Please and thank you. I. <clears throat> okay, all set here, Kim. I've left your itinerary and contact numbers. Oh, Rufus, buddy, if it weren't for that zero rodent policy at La Hotel, you'd be coming with us. <laughs> Bye. I'll call the checkup on him. <laughs> Rufus, how am I supposed to get to my bed? <laughs> hmm? The microchip? It's been located. More? Rufus, you've already eaten through two months of my allowance. More. All right, all right. Another quesarito naco platter coming right up. Kim, we got a problem. I'm picking up a signal from the microchip. The chip is in my room. Not anymore. Satellite thermal enhancement shows the signal is coming from Bueno Nacho. Where? Inside Rufus. Rufus? You better get him to a secure location before... Monkey ninjas, attack! <laughs> Hello, Rodent. <laughs> Come, my monkey minions. Wait, do you have a lock on the microchip signal? I'm running a flight projection based on current airspeed and jet stream variations. Fine, but whatever you do, don't tell Ron. Yo, 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 Kim, lay Ron here. How's everything going? You know, according to my schedule, Rufus should be on his way to aromatherapy. Um, actually, it's quiet time right now. <laughs> well, wake the little guy up. I can't do that, Ron. I can't do that because of item number 237 in your Care of Rufus guide. It is essential for mole rats to get at least 20 hours of sleep a day. That's exactly what I wanted to hear you say, KP. See, that was a test. Obviously, I put my trust in the right person. Lay Ron out. Wade, talk to me and please make it good news. Monkey Fist plane is headed for a remote landing strip in the French Alps. If I call in the right favors, I can have you there half an hour after he lands. It appears you have bitten off more than you can chew, my little friend. <laughs> Come on, say ah! ah. <laughs> Monkey ninjas attack! But this is where I get off. Enjoy your flight. It's only going to last a wee 22 seconds. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Hey, Kim, you there? Uh, yeah. Hi, Ron. How's Paris? Say yes, Trey Magnifique. How's everything there? Rufus giving you any trouble? Of course not. Well, put the little guy on. Uh, sure. Let me get him. Here, yeah, Rufus, say hi to Ron. <laughs> hey, Kim, is everything okay? He sounds kind of freaked. Oh, he misses you, that's all. Okay, gotta go, bye-bye. Fromage. Merci, Trey Ben. For the louver up. And then we hit the Arc de Triumph and Notary Day. Uh, yeah, surprisingly, French fries and French toast are in short supply here. So what's up with you guys? Oh, you know. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Oh, gotta go, Ron. Yeah, later, KP. We can't thank you enough, Kim Possible. Our rivals in the greeting card industry would pay any price to acquire this chip. Oh, no bit. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say the greeting card industry? Oh, yes, it's quite competitive. I'm sure the thief who acquired this chip would be paid a fortune. Congratulations. It's a girl. Tonight, Max and Goofy get goofy to the max. To the extreme, even. Yeah, extremely. Yep, it's an extremely goofy movie. Tonight at 8, 7 central. Here on Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> 